What's up, YouTube? Conat87 here, here to bring you my anime review of the series known as Medica Box. Medica Box and Medica Box Abnormal are both 12 episode series animated by Gainax, with Abnormal being the sequel to Medica Box. And yes, it is that Gainax that has brought us masterpieces such as Evangelion and Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagann. However, more recently, Gainax has also brought us shows such as Dantelion no Shoka and Pantheon Stalking with Gargamel. The show starts off with our dashing female lead, Medica, who has recently become the student council president of the prestigious Hakoniwa Academy. The plot of the show is relatively simple, with Medica instituting a suggestion box where people can submit the problems that need to be solved. Medica drags our main male lead, Zenkichi, into the student council, and together, the two of them, with other student council members recruited by Medica, go through many zany, skit dance like adventures. At least that's what it's supposed to be. Contrary to the majority of the first season, Abnormal and the later episodes of season 1 delve deeper into the secrets of Hakihoniwa Academy and the center which is Medica. In atypical shonen style, the first episodes of season 1 have Medica dealing with the problems one by one with no real problems, and she ends up recruiting more followers and creating friendships out of these defeated foes. But then, at the end of season 1, the final foe, Unzen, head of the disciplinary committee, proves way too much for Medica to handle. As she's enraged, she loses her dashingly cool attitude and proceeds to do just about whatever it takes to defeat Unzen. And as a result, the school gets destroyed, Medica gets horribly injured, and things just go terribly out of control. And then season 2 happens. In the second season, it's revealed that they um, possibly to defeat Unzen is just one member of the Flash Pan, which this is a tremendously revolutionary project involving the school chairman, Shirinui, his granddaughter, which is coincidentally the friend of Zenkichi, Medica's brother, Medica's sister, and somehow all of their pasts. All in all, fucking everything goes out of control. In true shonen form, most of the second season is frickin' fight scenes, but it is done awesomely. Second season of Medica Box is wow. Dang, this is good. And, in particular, the last episode is some of the most, like, hype as shit anime stuff ever. If you stuck through with Medica Box and like I have, then you know. Season 3 WHEN! From start to finish, this show is like half a mountain, in that it starts on the ground, sucky, bad, bland, and boring, but as the episode goes by, it just gets better and better. The show starts off very slow, but if you stick with it, it's some of the most hype awesome OMG fights and revelations ever. The music's nothing too special, the animation is Gainax's glory as normal, the characters are actually kind of bland and stereotypical, but with Medica's straight up from here plot, it's a damn hyped watch. For the first season, Medica Box, I give it an average 7 out of 10 in that it was an alright watch, but it didn't get good at all until the final few episodes. For the second season, Medica Box Abnormal, I give it an above average 8 out of 10 in that it was awesome. and. If there's ever a third season of the show, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10, because I'm just that hype from the ending of season 2. But what did you guys think of this show? Have you seen it? If you haven't, I do recommend it, but you have to work through an extremely slow and fanservice heavy beginning. After that, then damn, yeah, it's good, it's good. I'm Konat87, I guess I was so dashing that the 29 I defeated just couldn't help following me around, but thanks for watching guys, have a good one.